I'm Phil Helmuth Jr. As a poker player, there's often no better feeling than peeking at your hole cards to find you're holding a big pair, like two aces or two kings. Of course, there's also nothing worse than watching your big pair go down in flames to a hand like the Jack Nine of Spades. Ouch! That's why this lesson is devoted to teaching you about how to get the most value out of your big pairs when they come your way. Well, we can't guarantee you're going to win the pot every time you're holding pocket aces, kings, or queens. Yeah, no kidding. We can give you some guidelines that will improve the odds that your big pairs will stand up more often than not. First, and most importantly, don't be afraid to raise or re-raise your big hands before the flop. Aces, kings, and queens are the strongest starting hands you can have in poker, and there's no reason you should be scared of playing a big pot when you're holding these hands, especially when you can narrow down the field to just one or two opponents. Remember, the value of big pairs goes down as the number of players in the pot goes up, which means limping in from early position with a hand like aces can be very, very dangerous. By limping into the pot, you're giving everyone acting behind you better odds to see the flop with a wide variety of hands that can beat you on later streets. If no one raises behind you, you're going to have to be very careful about playing your hand unless you flop a set or better. Also, don't be afraid to raise with a hand like kings or queens because you're scared of running into aces. If that happens, it happens, and that's just part of the game. The fact is, big hands don't come around very often. You should be looking to play them aggressively by raising and re-raising before the flop. Once the flop is dealt and you feel like you are facing a better hand, then don't be afraid to fold your big pair and look for a better spot later in the tournament. For example, if you're holding queens and the flop comes down ace, king, four, with your opponents betting into you, you know, I think you have a pretty good fold there. Chances are your hand is no good. I would also say that, you know, if you have two black aces and the flop comes down eight, nine, ten of diamonds, you know, I'd, I'd be looking maybe to minimize the amount that I lost or even fold if the action becomes too intense. There just are horrible flops that come up sometimes when you have pocket aces or pocket kings, and you just have to be smart and take the exit with a small loss.